To watch the extended video, please click on the link pinned below. Now y'all know y'all need to like, share, and subscribe. Don't leave here without doing so. What is up, Aquarius? This is Evolving Wisdom, and yes, I'm here. And I'm still evolving. What is good, Aquarius? I'm here to do your October read, okay? The beginning of the month. If you guys want the extended version of this video, that will be pinned at the bottom in the description box. It's everywhere. Okay, let me give you guys a little instructions on how to work that something I've been having a little people who's a little confused about how to actually go through the website. You guys don't have to just go through the website, you can go through Cash App and then I will email you the link. Okay, but if you go through the website, you guys, the link is emailed to you directly once you pay for the service. Okay, that information, once again, the link how the instructions everything is pinned at the bottom, always, you guys. But let me just give it to you guys here on video here. And once you click on the link here for your reading, your extended reading, then there is a calendar that comes up. It tells you, hey, you have tapped into the Aquarius um, link here. And then you will pick on the calendar any day. It doesn't matter. And then you'll pick any time. It doesn't matter. Just pick 12 a.m. in the morning. It doesn't matter. Okay. Pick on anything. And then scroll a little bit at the bottom. It says book. Book it. Finish the rest of the signing in or um, the information, okay? And then pay for it. And then the link is emailed to you and then you watch it, okay? So that is just a little instruction. That's, I still know some of you guys are going to be, who did not watch this intro, will probably be emailing me, asking me, how do I do it? It's okay, you guys, okay? But Aquarius, we're going to jump into your energy here and see what is going on with you guys, okay? okay. If y'all hear my baby in the background crying, my cat, because a lot of you guys don't know I have a cat, been having a cat for six months, okay? He's spoiled, y'all. He wants to take his butt outside, okay? But not today. He just got his coat cleaned, okay? Everybody got time for that. Okay, you are shiny. Yes, I let my baby go outside. I let my cat go outside, though, because I'm a very clean person. You know, my cat had never had any type of, like, fleas or anything, maybe because his dad's always in the tub. I always clean him. I, I'm, he's always getting baths and stuff, you know, keeping his vibrations up. Cats get drained too, you guys. Oh. Tell him what's y'all. All right, you guys. <laughs> okay, let's jump into y'all energy here. I am not editing that. Y'all just gonna have to almost see my ass fall. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so of course, we're gonna jump into some energy and see what's going on with you guys here i'm going to jump into some high vibrational energy first and see what's going on with you guys some of you guys here it may not resonate in the beginning with all of you all okay but we're going to get into different energy to pick up different aquariuses here some of you guys seems like i don't know picking up virgo energy some of you guys may be dealing with the virgo here let me see here. What's going on with my Aquarius? What are my Aquarius needs to know? What are my Aquarius need to know? Aquarius is, you guys are overspent. You guys need to save. Some of you guys are closed off, scared. Yeah, like, this is not, I don't, I'm not really picking up a real deep, deep um, Aquarius energy. It's like, y'all guys, y'all into some type of other energy right now. It's like a really, some of you guys, not all of you here, but some of you guys are in some fearful ass shit, okay? Like, scared here, in a way, like, of this change. You got the world around you here, okay? It's coming from heartbreak. It's like almost afraid to deal with anybody friends family like anyone to come in in your life especially you know, i don't feel like some of you guys romantically you're, just, you're afraid because you didn't make a lot of bad decisions in the um in your life before and we all have so what you gonna do hold yourself up you're gonna hold yourself hostage for the rest of your life now because you didn't fucked up you know some years ago or a year ago or just recently no that's control that's energy still controlling you aquarius okay i'm thinking of the worst case scenario about things okay i feel like a lot of this shit you guys are creating but you guys are sitting with your bad habits some of you guys have some bad habits going on this came out in the middle of your thing some of you guys spending too much here you, they're like you're going through your savings or something here okay there's a soul tie energy coming in here uh and i feel like this this this, this could be the you guys may have a real good 
Virgo energy around you or someone who has strong Virgo placements in there that really, really wants you and you guys are scared because it feels real to you. It feels real. It feels real, but you felt that kind of, you felt that energy before and you're like, you're mounting an energy on this, on this person. And what I mean by you're mounting an energy on this person is like all your other fucking other relationships you had that was terrible and it did you wrong. Now you're putting it on this new person. Like give up the person to be fucking a person. Like let them show you who they are instead of you creating your reality around them because of what other motherfuckers did to you. Like, how fair is that? Do you want them to do you like that? Do you want when you meet people that they start judging you because they didn't have a girlfriend who looked just like you or maybe um, smoke? You know, you know what I mean? You want people to give you a chance. Give yourself a chance. So give yourself a chance here, um, Aquarius. Let go. Some of you guys are letting go here, but it's like you guys need to take a leap of faith. I feel like you guys need to let go. Okay, I feel like the ones I'm talking to right now, you need to let go. You need to let go of um, the trauma that you, that you endured, that you kept yourself in. How you do that, how do you let go of trauma? You got to take ownership of it. You got to say, well, you know what? I was foolish. You know, I knew that person was doing this. I knew my, this person, my family, whatever, relationship, my child, whatever, whoever it is that hurt you and did you wrong for years, you got to take ownership and say, I'm an adult. I allowed this shit to keep going on. I made excuses. I swept it under the rug because I wanted the family. I did this. this. You got to take ownership of it and say, you know what? I ain't that person no more. Okay? I learned. And if I never went through that shit, if I never went through those trials with my family, friends, lovers, whatever it is, I would have never known what the greatness is. You are great. You would have never known how great you really are. So thank the universe for that experience. Now you out of that shit. Now what? Now you're going to allow them to still hold on to you. You're going to allow that, that experience to still keep you captive. You was already captive when you was dealing with it. You know how you go this, you know how you by yourself. Some of you got sit, I sit, see, sit, drinking and cry. Like your mind keeps going back to the hurt and pain. And you, you and see, uh, the thing with Aquarius is, is that I do feel like Aquarius men and women are a little different here, a lot different when it comes to love, but it's very similar. I feel like, you know, you guys do the men. I feel like men react to love situations in a different way. I don't feel like they love in a more of a, like, ugh, I don't want to say this. I don't want to offend nobody, but oh, fucking well, okay? This is my thoughts. I feel like they love in a more of an alien type of way. It's like, it's not, a lot of people can't relate to it. But at the same time, when they do care about somebody, it's very deep to the point, because they're not usually used to expressing those type of emotions, like a water sign and everything. Aquarius have their purpose. They have their reasons why they are not so attached to love. And I don't really feel this way with women. I don't ever get this with women. And it may be because I have always been a, I always been surrounded with a lot of air energy. Aquarius is a Gemini. So I've always been like one of my top, like my best friends or some of people who I really like was like, hey, that's my motherfucker. Like that is my girl or that's my dude. Relationship wise, no, mm, that's a totally different story. Friendship wise, Aquarius men and women, I feel like they are amazing. I do. I feel like they are amazing. I do feel like they are very loyal when they do care about somebody. I, I, just, I feel like you guys don't know how to really deal with that pain or don't know how to really speak that shit out. Like, yeah, I'm fucking hurt. And it, it was pain me that I gave my life. I had children about this person or I did this. And now I am, you know, at this age and I'm still dealing with that. Like age ain't nothing but a fucking number. Okay, there's 60-year-old women and men out here who look like they in their fucking 30s. This is all about the, the, the how you taking care of yourself. Age is a fucking illusion, okay? Because when you look at them, a lot of them 60-year-old women and men or whatever, you're like, damn, that they 30 years old? Or, I mean, are they 30 or 60? And they find out they 65? You, what the hell? You know what I mean? So, that you know, you guys, hmm. Now you guys got ideals or is something you need to be doing here. I really do feel like it's some toxic things that you guys need to let go of here. And you just hang in there. Mm, I forgot to start this dang timer, y'all. Okay. Let's see here. 
coming in out of the cold. Some of you guys, there's a Tara moment coming. It's going to bring you out of the cold. It's going to wake you up. Some of you guys got a Tara moment coming. I don't feel like this is a really, excuse me. I don't feel like this is a real positive energy. We're going to get deeper here and we'll be touching more into the darker, darker energy side of things here. See what's going on. But see, endings are coming. You will get justice here. They want you to get back to work. Uh, they want you to get back to work, Aquarius. Is. But the, 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 you know what? I feel like this was some of my Aquarius. There is something real powerful steering up inside of you. And I feel like you guys are, some of you guys consciously and, so, and, and unconsciously is really tr uh, trying to self-sabotage this, this new change that's coming in. Some of you guys know, it's, it's you, I feel fear. I fear you, I fear, I feel a, like a lightning going on inside of you, but you're using toxic things, whether it's smoking, drinking, eating, sex, whatever it is to, to mask that, the energy that is staring up inside of you. There's something about to explode because the universe don't care about none of that shit you've been through. They want you to, you, it's time now. They want you to get on that path. They want you to start doing it. Like your blessings have a lot of you guys who are supposed to be doing service to people, like giving service, changing people's lives. To watch the extended video, please click on the link pinned below.